What did he say? Say it unto Moses. What? Abel's 
body was, who wasn't able to be in more than one place at one time, yeah. you can whisper and he don't hear you, but you can step out of his presence and go to the Bible. Right, right, right. If you get out of his presence in the land of Nod, you can talk about it. <laughs> Are we not the bearers of witness that nothing would exist if Allah didn't create it? And that he is alone and has no partners? And that all gratitude is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the sustainer of all the boundless universes? All gratitude is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the generous eternal friend. And send salutations of Allah on all of his prophets and his apostles and on the Messiah, the anointed one. And on the Mahdi, the guy. And on the Mujadda, the reform, which was all sent from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We send greetings and we send peace throughout the boundless universe to all. Assalamu alaikum. It's clear that it says in the scripture, uh, the King James Bible, the King's version. Okay. okay. And uh, there it's clear that it's Arabic language and Hebrew language. I'd like to know which one of those languages. Uh, how do you say, came first, and how can I see this and prove this through the scriptures? <laughs> Neither one of those languages came first. <laughs> Neither one. Neither one of them, because Arabic and Hebrew are the same language. They are dialects of the same language. <laughs> see? And the language that the scriptures have come was Syretic Arabic, or Syretic Hebrew. It's a new seen language that Father Abraham, or Ibrahim, spoke. And they called him an Arab, not in relation to who's in Saudi Arabia today, but because the word Araba in the language meant a person who wandered from place to place or moved around. Because in Arabic, when we see Araba, we call a car an Araba. A car is Arabia. It's something that drives around. You understand? And so when Ibrahim 
and his family were named Yabra, Abra, Nahr. When they crossed over the river of Euphrates and Tigris, the people who was in the valley called the Phoenicians, when he left Old Jadir, called him Abra to come from one side to the next, which later became known as Hebrew. You understand? When he migrated up to the land of Haran, wandering, setting up altars, they said he is a Arab, one who moves from place to place. As he raised his flocks in different places, they called him here Bedouini, or camel raisers and sheep raisers. As history holds it, man with ignorance has now turned these into tribes. These are Bedouin, these are Arabs, these are Hebrews, when they were all the same people in the time of Abraham and speaking the same language. So it's not whether Arabic or Hebrew came first. Arabic and Hebrew are the same language. So when you go down to the Hebrew language, and you ba, right, ta, gemal, dal, ha, you go to the language, and I need ba, te, te, jim, he, he, in Arabic, you got the same language. There is no P in Hebrew. There is no J in Hebrew. They added a P and they added a J when it became Yiddish. You see? which is a combination of other European languages. The original Hebrew and the original Arabic are the exact same language. And they both come from our father, Ibrahim. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so ruthless that in the Quran, He directs Muslims to follow Abraham's religion. Throughout the Quran, when Muslims maliciously after the Prophet Muhammad have turned and made a new religion and it's become Muhammad's religion. And they, and they worship hadith and books of men when the Quran openly is telling them to follow Abraham's religion, which would mean that all the covenants that apply to Ben Israel would apply to Ben Ismail. They would be the same family again. They would have come back together under one covenant. You follow? But Egotistical human beings who want to be leaders have split the family of Abraham again. And thus you have people calling themselves Arabs and you have people calling themselves Israelis, etc. That's just the work of Shaitan again, just as busy as he could be, with no silsila, no root to any truth or fact, just their opinion about what they think. English translations of the Quran are saying, and it's a sad thing. Because many souls are getting lost by ignorant people who want to be leaders. Leaders are not made, they are born. I was wondering if you can show me all the quotes in the Bible where Jesus, I mean, where the Creator introduced other prophets and his only sons. Go to Psalms 2. Okay. This is talking to David. You know David, the father of Solomon, yes. who received the song? Make note of what he says. Why do the heathens rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying. Now stop. When you see the word anointed, that's the Hebrew word Misha or Misha or Messiah. Here they're calling David a Messiah. Okay? Now what do they say? Let us break their bonds asunder and cast away their cords from us. The kings of the earth and the rulers of the earth set out to destroy Israel. The kings of the earth and the rulers of the earth did not set out to destroy Jesus. Just the Romans. If I let, and they had empress, not kings. So that's another one. Go on. Number four. He that sitteth in heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. The heavenly Father is laughing at these people who try to destroy Israel and will have them doing, you know, in derision, going all kind of crazy ways. Five. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sword of pleasure. Then the Almighty will send a wrath down on them Right? 
and vexed them. Rome, the Roman Empire, did not get a wrath down on them during the period of time of Jesus' crucifixion. In fact, according to the Christians, after that, all the disciples started getting persecuted and burnt and tied and right? So this means it's still is talking about, I'm just showing you how this can't be talking about Jesus. Now we go on to six. Yet I have set my king upon his holy mountain of Zion. Whoever that is, the Lord says, he put his king. Who was, what was David called? King David. And he was over the new city of Jerusalem at the time. That's not the city of Revelation. David had the temple of Solomon originally built. And that was the first sign. Okay? We're still talking about David. I will declare a decree. The Lord hath said unto me. Now he's talking David in the first person. What does it say here? Read it to me. Thou art my son. Thou at this day have I begotten. That's the same quote that Christians use for Jesus. Right? Yeah. But this is talking about David, not Jesus. This is before David, Jesus was even conceived. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. And they said about Israel, that they were saved the uttermost part of the earth. Go on. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like the potter's vessel. Jesus did none of those things. Go ahead. Yeah. Ten. Be wise. Now, therefore, O king, talking to Israel, be instructed, ye judges of the earth, talking to the judges that are mentioned in the book of Israel, the kings, and then the book of Judges, you follow? Yeah. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, talking about David again, because he was the king. Let he be angry and he perish from the way, because he had the power to put you to death, is what Israel would do if you disobeyed the king. When his wrath is kindled, but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Now read the next line, what does it say? A psalm of David, when he fled from Absalom's son. It goes on to give you another psalm. Let's go on to the third. You follow? So there's a, a direct quote where David is called the begotten of the father. Now let's go back to Genesis, to pluralize it. Genesis chapter 6, right? And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them, correct? Yes. What happened? That the sons of God. Go back and read the, the third word again. The sons of God. Is that plural? Yes. That's right. That the sons of God saw what? The daughters of men that they were dead. Now go down and read number four. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came unto the daughters of men. Now here the Bible again is saying God has more than one son. Correct? Yes. We can go on to the lindacy of Jesus according to the Bible in the book of Luke, and we're going to get where they call Adam the son of God. Luke chapter 3, verse 38. You got it? Give it time. Now, if you would have read all before this, it starts giving you the son of this, the who's the son of this, who's the son of that, who's the son of this, right? Yes. Then when you get down to 38, which says, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of who? Adam. Who was what? The son of God. You understand? Yes. This is 